Hey there, my friends. Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. In the garage today is the 2023 Cadillac XT5 with a 3.6 liter V6. So we're going to do an underhood tour and talk about all the major technical stuff as well as the maintenance service points. The 3.6 liter VVT V6 has been a staple of the Cadillac XT5 and other GM branded vehicles for some time now with its high feature content of technology. In the XT5, it produces 310 horsepower at 6,700 RPM and 271 pound-feet of torque at 5,000 RPM. Here, it's mated to a 9-speed automatic transaxle and available with front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive, such as an Artester. The EPA rates it with all-wheel drive at 18 MPG City, 25 MPG Highway, and 21 MPG combined. The engine itself is all aluminum with a stiffened and cross-bolted block and a forged steel crankshaft and forged steel connecting rods. It retains a 60 degree V angle but has increased bore size and center spacing. Aluminum heads feature high flow ports and larger valves for both intake and exhaust than the first generation. The exhaust manifold is now cast into the head for better thermal efficiency and underhood packaging, putting the catalyst units right up under the hood. Topping off the heads are dual overhead cams, both with variable cam timing. With direct fuel injection, the engine also features active fuel management that can shut off two of the cylinders and allow it to operate effectively as a V4 when coasting or when the extra power isn't needed. Following the airflow, the intake air comes in through a large filter box at the passenger side of the engine compartment and straight into a composite intake manifold. Looking down at the engine itself, you can see a healthy dose of sound insulation shielding applied to the top and sides of the upper structure. Back on the firewall is also a pretty significant layer of sound deadening. When it comes to servicing this engine, most of the pertinent items are within easy reach and view. The air filter box is located on the passenger side for easy access, though it does require screws to be removed to replace the filter. Checking and filling the oil is done at the front and center of the engine with the dipstick easily seen with its bright yellow handle. The windshield washer fluid is down low on the driver's side near the headlamp. Behind it, you'll find a fuse box over the driver's side wheel well, the 12 volt battery right next to it, and adjacent to that, the main engine computer. The engine coolant and brake fluid reservoirs are together at the driver's side firewall. Notable is that there's not a dipstick for the automatic transmission, as GM considers it not to be a user serviceable item. Sealed for life, they call it. Take it to your dealer for service, they want. Also, the main serpentine drive belt does exist for the engine-driven accessories, but it takes some effort to see and get to. Underhood of the 2023 Cadillac XT5. This is actually the last year for the XT5 as we currently know it. It's going to have an all-new model coming next year for 24. And so if you have one of those, this probably isn't going to apply to your vehicle. 2017 to 23, pretty much everything in between going to be identical to this. So there you go. You can see our latest video right there, or if you like the technical stuff, I highly suggest you subscribe to our channel, TDTV Garage, right there. Either way, stay tuned.